Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority, and you can hear all the noise behind me. I am vlogging from Pepcom Digital Focus. Uh, it is the end of the first day of IFA, the actual official first day. Uh, it goes from the 5th and onward, and the thing is, I've been here since the 1st, and all of the really major announcements happened in the last few days, which made for some really, really tiring and busy days. But now we are finally on the first day of IFA, and Pepcom is the end of it. And uh, with this event and being able to, you know, enjoy myself a little bit, me and Bogdan, of course, uh, we are here at this event being able to just uh, relax a little bit because now the storm has come and gone, and once again, we've been able to weather it. And I want to thank all of you for being there, watching our videos and whatnot. But I also want to make sure to give you a vlog and just sort of give you our experience here at IFA in Berlin. I hope you can hear me pretty well. It is really loud in here, and I'm using this mic right here. Uh, but I'll just go through what was going on the past few days. Of course, you guys already know about Samsung, uh, the Galaxy Note 4, the Note Edge, the Gear S, the Gear VR. So many different devices that were brought out there, but really, the main story there is the fact that the Galaxy Note 4 is an improvement in every way of the Note 3. And really, with that metal design, I'm sure everyone's going to really like it. And with all of the, all of the different features that they baked into it, uh, it really is a pretty full-featured phone. But from there, we moved on and got to uh, Asus, and we did take a look at the Zen Watch, and I do have to say that the Zen Watch does seem to get it right a lot, uh, in the sense that it is one of the devices in the Android Wear family that gets closest to going to the watch side of what is considered smart watch, whereas other devices seem to focus on the smart part more often. Uh, now, as we're talking about uh, smart watches, we did get a look at the LG G Watch R, and it is a very interesting device in terms of its look because it does a very good job of really looking like a watch, and then you put the digital stuff on top. Now, whether or not it's going to be accessible for everybody out there is something that remains to be seen, but that's when I get into the Moto 360. The Moto 360 might have a more simplistic look when it comes to its round design, uh, but I do have to admit that when I saw it on a bunch of the people at the Motorola briefing earlier today, I thought that a lot of people really rocked it really easily because that phone does a good job of really getting, uh, getting into people's style. It doesn't cram people's style at, uh, whatsoever. But earlier today at that same event, we also got to see the brand new Moto X. Now, obviously we were not in uh, Chicago to take a look at the actual device during the reveal, but we were able to get a nice private screening of the device and the Moto 360 and the Moto G uh, in a great hotel here in Berlin. And we got a great look at the phone. I actually think that it's a wonderful device, especially considering the fact that I really feel like certain people have on more than one occasion looked at the phone that they had and said, I wish this had this, I wish this had that, I wish this had this. And for the most part, the Moto X has all of those features. It's as if they just threw everything into one device and uh, after putting their own Moto features right on top of it, I think it really bolsters the whole package even more. And to be honest, the only thing that's really missing is expandable storage, but for, some, for quite a few people out there, it's not really that big of a deal. Sony's Xperia line, especially the Z3, does have an update to the general line, but I will say that it's not necessarily the biggest upgrade you're going to see. But if you're not going to look at the Z3, then check out the Z3 Compact, check out the Z3 Tablet Compact, and you're going to see exactly uh, what should be paid attention to when it comes to Sony's products. I really do think that those are some pretty incredible uh, devices, especially the tablet, because it has the smaller form factor that, uh, that takes the design of the Xperia Z tablets that I already really loved. And uh, with the 8-inch form factor and the fact that you can connect them to PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4, and be able to remotely play your games, I think that's pretty incredible. Uh, but after all of that, again, I said, the first day of IFA is, uh, has started. All of the press, they're done with all of the uh, uh, reporting and all of the events over the last few days. And now we have the general public, for the most part, coming into the IFA show floor. So it's a crazy town. It is just packed full of people. And it's pretty crazy trying to get around everywhere, but it also adds to the character of IFA and trade shows like this to be able to have that much commotion and be a part of it all. And you're really seeing it behind me right now. We're here at Pepcom Digital Focus, like I said again. Yesterday was Showstoppers, but this is Pepcom. The funny thing about this Pepcom is that obviously we're in Germany, so uh, they have a lot of football or soccer for, the, for my United States fans there. Um, they have a lot of football-based uh, items around here. Uh, there's foosball tables, there's even a type of uh, video presentation that's showing uh, sort of like a, like a soccer match or a football match. Obviously, there are World Cup champions. I don't blame them for having it all over the place. 
it does break my heart a little bit being from the States, but you know what, congratulations to Germany, and it's really funny that that is the theme of this Pepcom. Well, you're not gonna be seeing the Samsungs, the Sonys, and others like that around here, but you will be seeing all of the companies that supplement those experiences. Everything from Bluetooth speakers to app developers to uh, Logitech, for example, is right over there on the side. Uh, you're going to see them around here and be able to uh, be able to see what they have in store for the coming year. And uh, of course, when it comes to Showstoppers and Pepcom, we have the ability to enjoy ourselves a little bit while still getting some work done. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, I'm bringing you this vlog, and you're going to see even more. Now that the storm has passed, we're going to have the next few days. I'm here until Tuesday, until the 9th, so I have plenty of time to bring you even more vlogs and experiences here at IFA in Berlin. So make sure you stay tuned to Android Authority. Android Authority to <laughs> Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including all of our future coverage of EFA 2014. We brought you a lot already and we pretty much covered everything, but there's still a lot more to do and you're going to get even more, especially with the vlogs that I have out for you. So keep it tuned here, drop us some likes and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching these uh, videos, especially these vlogs, so I can share with you my gratitude, my things and our experience here at IFA. So make sure you stay tuned here and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things IFA. 2014.